Hey guys, I know I look like crap rubbish. Sorry, did not mean to swear then. Um, this is just a quick video to let you guys um, be aware of. You might want to check your bank accounts, guys. Okay, let's start. This morning, I went onto my Barclays online banking. And I had a little bit of money in there, not very much. And um, I see this transaction, I'm just getting that up so I can show you guys. I put my pin in and everything. And I see that I've got less money than I'm meant to have. And I'm like, what? That's not right. That's really not right. Sorry, it's loading. It's, it's signing in. So I click on it. And it says I have a pending debit card transaction for £13.1p. And I'm thinking, what? Mom, where's Marvel? Hold on a minute. Bear with me, guys. Anyway, I was like, pending transaction for £13.1p? No. No, that's not me. So this is what it says. Can you see that? I'm trying to position it so you can see it. It says it's for Facebook, guys. Facebook. Facebook. I'm like, what? At 4.19 in the morning? No. It says Facebook load of gibberish fb.me slash ads ie see that so i phone the bank and i speak to this so i speak to this woman and oh my god she irritated me she really irritated me anyway so she passed me on to this other person but she's like no 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 you know no you're not in the right department so I spoke to this bloke called I think his name was Mark and I feel so sorry for him because obviously I was already angry that money had been took out of my account this woman had wound me up and I get put on the phone to Mark first thing he goes you may not be through to the correct department. What? He just got full blown batshit crazy PJ. So I calm down and I get all apologetic and I'm like, look, I'm really, really sorry. I know this is not your fault. And he's like, the woman hasn't given me any information. She hasn't told me your name or anything. She hasn't done the handover how she's meant to do. And I'm like, can this go any more crap? So I'm speaking to him and he's like, yeah, you may not be through to the correct department. I'm like, what? Uh, excuse me, what? He goes, it's fine. I'm going to phone through to the correct department. I'm going to speak to the person. I'm going to explain the situation. And I'm going to pass you over to her. This is after I've spoken to him for about, I don't know, 15 minutes and been on hold and spoke to that really annoying crazy woman beforehand so at this point I mean let's check the call time in total <laughs> 32 minutes and 38 seconds I, I was on the call in total bear with me two seconds Right, I'm sorry about that. My partner was getting angry with the Xbox. I can't even remember where I was. So I spoke to that bloke for ages and he really, he was helpful, but I got a bit pissed off that I had to then go and speak to another department. So he put me on to this woman. What's her name? It began with an L. I remember that. Alexi? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, she was lovely. She 
apologised. She didn't need to, it wasn't her fault. She reassured me I was in the correct department. She explained everything. She told me that there was three things that we could do. We're trying to stop the money, we're trying to get it back. And I may get a letter in the post in the next couple of days. Um, that I have to fill out and say, yeah, blah, 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 this was not me. Um, I'm sorry, I just completely got thrown off track. Anyway, so I said, like, do you know roughly what this could be from? And she goes, well, from the looks of it, they've set up, the, like, they can do reoccurring payments on my account. It's a subscription of some sort, she goes. It's like an ads subscription. So they're either paying for ads on Facebook or they're buying off of ads on Facebook or they're buying like extra lives and games. And I'm like, okay, my bank details aren't saved on Facebook. And I don't pay online games on Facebook. Confused the hell out of me. So, cut a long story short, I have money took out of my account, I'm trying to get it back, I may not be able to get it back, and it was through Facebook, Facebook, I hardly use Facebook, if I thought I was going to be scammed, I thought it would have been from Wish, or eBay, or Amazon, or a couple of the other sites that I use. Put Facebook and somebody else using it? Nah. Nah. It's just not on. So guys, my partner and my kid are throwing me off on this video, but it's fine. It's fine. I got peed off this morning because the bank and someone taking my money. It's fine. I had to phone the police last night because of my neighbours but it's fine this is just a day in the life of PJ it's fine it's fine no seriously I'll be fine I may just need to go a little do lally I mean you may need to cry a little I won't slam doors. I just slam the bedroom door though. Hmm. I won't slam any more doors. I might go for a walk to try and calm down. And I have a new car coming. But now I've got no money till Thursday. That's okay. I just can't believe it's happened. I don't know if it's somebody that I know. Or if my details are just somehow... Because my bank card is contact wireless do da de da da whatever it is, you know. I don't know, guys. I hope your Monday has gone a lot better than this Monday. I should hopefully be back later on today with a wish haul. Maybe. We're going to have to see how the day goes. If not, we'll have another one out very, very soon. <sighs> Stay safe, beautifuls. Make sure you keep your bank card details very safe. Make sure you know every transaction that is going in and out. Make sure you check your statements regularly. And I just hope that this does not happen to any of you. This was not the way that I wanted to wake up this morning. Trust me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you guys later.